the Trump campaign very much in full swing today, obviously. Of course, it's four days to go to the actual election. Donald Trump has stops in, look at it there, New Hampshire, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. That's where he is today. Take a look at the Electoral College vote map. New Hampshire, hard to make it out, but New Hampshire is the key. If everything stays as is, the polls that is, um, and he takes New Hampshire, Donald Trump is the president of the United States of America. New Hampshire is key. And look who is here on the set in New York City, no less, this man, Chris Wallace, Fox News Sunday host. Chris, welcome to the program. Well, welcome. I'm glad to be here in New York for a change. Watch out. This is New York. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, nice place to visit. It is incredibly close, isn't it? When you've got an electoral college map like that, one state with, I think, just four electoral college votes, that's the key? That's well, how close I, it is? Well, I, I wouldn't, I'd take issue with that just because of the fact that there are some other states. Everything isn't going to go just the way you predict it's going to go. Chris, I got that from the Washington oh. Post of all places. <laughs> well, I understand, but I suspect that it won't be decided by that. Look, this night could be over early. If Hillary Clinton wins Florida, it's over. Uh, there's no way Trump can win. On the other hand, even if he wins Florida, and that certainly sets him on, his, on a path, but he still has to do a, a variety of things. He's got to win every state that Mitt Romney won. He's also got to win Ohio. And he's got to flip at least one traditionally Republican, uh, rather Democratic state. Uh, some state that is traditionally blue, he's got to flip it his way. You just can't call it at this point. Oh, no. Just no, 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 no. It absolutely, it absolutely. I will say, though, that, that she has got many more paths to 270 electoral votes True. than he does. He's got to do the... Uh, uh, political equivalent of drawing to an inside straight. He's got to win every state. He's got a chance of winning. And if so, he, he will be our next president. But again, he's got to, it's all got to, all the dominoes have got to, to mix my metaphors, have got to fall right for him. One thing, one thing that really stood out to me over the past week, and that is when Hillary Clinton, and I'm going to use a harsh word, I uh -oh. think she, <laughs> not that bad, <laughs> she cheated. She cheated in the CNN town hall and in the debate with Bernie Sanders because she knew the questions in advance, or at least two questions, and she did not own up to it. She just went right out there and did it. And, no, you know, nobody is covering that. You look, you've got a skeptical look on your face. Well, look, I think that what Donna Brazil and, and I, I, I want to point out, I, I'm a fan of Donna Brazil. I've dealt with her since 1988. People who cover politics, we all of course. know each other. She's a good lady, but what she did was wrong. And, you know, if you're working, and I think it frankly raises questions about having people that are really actively involved in politics who are working for, for media organizations because the temptation, her ultimate loyalty we now see was not to CNN, was not to the CNN viewers, Donna Brazil, it was to Hillary Clinton and the Democrats. So it, I, I put it on her. I just don't know that any, oh. here, my, here's where I'm skeptical. I don't know that anybody would have, if they'd been given the question, would have sat there and said, I want to just say, I'm going to throw this woman under the bus. She gave me a question. I don't want that question asked of me in this campaign. I, hmm, sorry, but I disagree. I think it is dishonorable to go into a debate, keystone, cornerstone of democracy, and cheat. Do you object to the word cheat? I think Hillary Clinton cheated. Well, let me just put it this way. When I did my debate, the, the right, third exactly. presidential debate, I wanted to make very sure nobody got the question. Exactly. And literally, we would take, because, you know, you were constantly reworking the questions, we would take the pages, the old pages, the unused pages. I was in a hotel suite in Las Vegas the last two days. We would rip them up. We would take some of them and put them in one of those plastic laundry bags in the back of the closet. And then <laughs> my staff that? would take oh. other parts of it so that they couldn't reconstruct it. We didn't have a shredder. And they would put it in various public, uh, <laughs> you know, here, one in the casino, one by the swimming pool, <laughs> one by... You did that? Oh, absolutely. And, and every time oh. I left my, my room, I would take my book, which had the, the newest set of questions, I'd lock it in the wall safe. So I, I took it very seriously. Again, I think, you know, have you ever watched a football game and the guy gets the ball and it actually bounced off the ground and he took it and he starts running for a touchdown? Yeah, I think almost anybody would take that advantage. Were you nervous? I, I've, got, I've got 20 seconds. Were you nervous before yeah, you did that? Yes, uh, of course. And I thought I'd done everything in the business. I still, uh, this was unlike anything I'd done. But about 10 minutes into the debate, I settled in 
and I had a good time. Just you wait till Tuesday. You're part of our election coverage. Well, I am. <laughs> That's but a big not, deal. Not as much on me. I, it's on them this time. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Wallace, a real pleasure to have you with us. Thank Thanks you. very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.